We do start this hour with breaking news in Northeast Harris County where a woman was shot to death and her killer still at large. Investigators believe the suspect is her ex-husband in yet another case of domestic violence. Fox 26's Natasha Geigel is live with the latest. Natasha, is it true that there was um, a child in the house or the son of the uh, woman in the house at the time? Well, good morning. Yes, and this truly is a tragic situation. And uh, as mentioned, the 16 year old son of that victim was present in the home when it took place. So now you can see the home right behind me where this all went down. It is uh, currently empty right here. And you can see that investigators have wrapped up their scene. But of course, the investigation will still take place um, with interviews and such. Now, what we do know is that this happened around the uh, 91st hundred block of St. Laurent. It was around 1230 this morning when the call came in. It was over that phone call that 911, uh, the caller, a uh, call taker, was able to hear the gunshots being fired. It was that woman's 16 year old son making the 911 call, thinking that someone had broken into their home. When deputies arrived, they found that the woman was dead with multiple gunshot wounds. Her 16 year old son telling deputies that his ex stepfather was the one who broke in and shot his mother. Harris County Sheriff's Office has identified the ex-husband as 55-year-old Lorenzo White. You can see his photo here. Investigators say that he has been speaking with family members after the shooting took place. Uh, we know that the ex-husband has been in contact with several family members uh, already this morning about what happened this evening. So we don't know if he's planning on turning himself in or if he's uh, on the run or what the situation is. Uh, we know that he is... Uh, speaking with other family members and has admitted to doing the shooting. So he's uh, he's familiar with what's going on uh, as far as the police being out here involved. Uh, so if he is out there, we we'd ask him to come turn himself in peacefully. And the sheriff's office is looking for the vehicle that White is believed to have been driving. It is a white colored Nissan Frontier with Texas license plate number NKL. 2014. He is considered armed and dangerous. Now, authorities are saying that they do not know the motive at this time, but they have confirmed that there has been a history of violence in the past with this family. Natasha Geigel reporting Fox 26 News.